It's going to be gasps. At number three is the Philadelphia oh, Eagles. Um, they've lost six of the last seven games. They had a bottom four defense across the board in the NFL last season. They lost a future Hall of Famer, the leader of their team, the best player on their offense. Their coach and their quarterback don't get along. Their coach had, was known for one thing, kind of being a, a jerk on the sideline. What's going on, YouTube? It's that man, Sammy, two times back at y'all with another video. As y'all can see him at work, putting in work for y'all, so drop a big like and put in some work for me, you feel me? But this man... Hey, yo, Pluto. Nick crazy. Wright said my Eagles are coming in third Yo, in the division. Turn it up. Does that even sound right? Does that even sound right coming out somebody's mouth? The Eagles, third in NFC East, behind the Commanders. I, I, I know the I know the Giants ain't behind the Commanders. You think Jane Daniels is that damn good? For Jaden Daniels being second place in the division, you do realize he has to win 12, 13 games. Because that's about how much we win. But I'm going to give y'all this sound clip of exactly what he said. Listen to this, bro. This is where there's going to be gasps. At number three is the Philadelphia oh, Eagles. Um, they've lost six of the last seven games. They had a bottom four defense across the board in the NFL last season. They lost a future Hall of Famer, the leader of their team, the best player on their offense. Their coach and their quarterback don't get along. Their coach had, was known for one thing, kind of being a, a jerk on the sidelines, and now he's been like, no, I'm going to stop that. If anyone else could have told him that was a bad idea years ago. Anyways, you heard it, bro. I, I don't even want to play the whole thing. You got my Eagles coming in third in the division. First of all, let's go over our record. Because to be third in the division, we got to be pitiful, right? We got to be trash, right? He said we're going to be third and not make the playoffs at that. Ain't that crazy? The Eagles will miss the playoffs and come in third place. Anyways, let's see. This is our schedule. Green Bay, week one. I say we come out with a win, but it's going to be a tough one. Jordan Love is a star, but he don't got enough star power right now to beat us, I feel like, in my honest opinion. Atlanta, that's 2-0. Saints, that's going to be another tough game, but I got us 3-0. Close game, though. Buccaneers, that's going to be a tough game, 4-0. Browns, that's a game we could lose. I'm going to chalk it up as 5-0, but that's a team we could lose, too. Let, let's just say for the video, 4-1. Giants, 5-1. Bengals, honestly, that's a dub. That's 6-1. Jaguars, 7-1. Cowboys, we split them every year, so I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to say we get the first one, 8-1. Commanders, we're winning that, 9-1. Rams, they played us tough last year, but I think it's going to be another tough victory, 10-1. Ravens, I say we lose this. That's what, 10-2. Panthers, we win. That's 11-2. Steelers, 12-2. Commanders. 13 to 2. Cowboys. I say they win this one because we split. So that's 13 and 3. And we finish off with the Giants. 14 and 3. So for us to come third in that division, the Commanders must be winning 15 games and the Cowboys must be winning 16. Because that's what you're saying. If we being real, the Cowboys are closer to third place than us. Let me just break down this roster for y'all. Jalen Hurts. Oh, call me. Hurt. Jalen Hurts. Saquon Barkley running back. That's already a two-headed monster back there. AJ Brown. Devontae Smith. I'm not done yet. Jahan Dotson in the slot. <laughs> top five offensive line. Dallas got a top five tight end. Who's stopping all of them? You can't blitz. You blitz, one of our receivers is going to get a one-on-one. -on -one. You drop in zone, Saquon's going to run. And everybody's talking about Saquon's washed up. He had 900 yards last year. You do realize he's ran against a 28, ran behind a 28th or lower offensive line through his career. Shall we find some Saquon Barkley stats? Saquon Barkley. Let's find it. Because that's, that's absolutely 
insane to me that y'all think he's watched. He's running behind one of the worst offensive lines. It's amazing that he got that many damn yards. To be honest, he's never ran behind a top 20 offensive line. Let that sink in and we're a top five offensive line. Just let that sink in. Yes, we lost Lane Johnson. That's why we went from one to five. All right, so boom. This is his career stats with the Giants. My fault, y'all have to change scenery. My co-worker walking, as I told y'all, I'm at work. He's never ran behind a, 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 a top 20 offensive line. Let me bring up the stats for you. This is behind, this is behind one of the worst lines in the league every year. Rick here, 1,300. Second year, 1,003. 2020, he only had 34 yards. We ain't gonna catch that because he was injured basically the whole year. I believe he played one game that year. Yeah, one game that year. 2021, 593. Now you could say that's his fall off here. Came back 2022, 1300 yards. 2023, 962 yards. Mind y'all, this is behind one of the worst offensive lines in the league. How, how, how that work? How can you say? He ain't gonna be successful behind the top five line. His legs must just not work no more. That's what it is. I guess that's what it is. That's what y'all saying? His legs don't work no more? That's what it sounds like to me. You feel me? Not accurate at all. Us coming in third? Impossible. At the lowest, we're coming in second. And I don't even believe we're coming in second, to be honest. I feel like this year our roster is way better than the Cowboys roster. Cowboys got bigger fish to fry. Still gotta pay Dak, still gotta pay CD. I think the commanders are gonna come in second for us. I'm high on Jaden Downs, y'all. I've seen it in a lot of video. I'm high on him. But just because I'm high on him, don't mean he, he's, he's still a rookie. News flash, a CJ Stroud type of rookie year is rare. And even if he won 10 games just like CJ Stroud did, you do realize that's only good enough for third in our division. The Cowboys won 12 games every year, and we went anywhere from 11 to 14 games every year. You do realize they have to win at least 12 games to even compete for the second spot. I'm just saying, bro. And then he was talking about how the last season ended off bad. And I could agree. We fell off a cliff. But my whole thing is, bro, you think that's going to carry into the next season? Jalen Hurts is so bad. This, that. Bro. Jalen Hurts injured the whole season. They forget about that though. He was injured the whole season. He doesn't look the same. How's he gonna look the same with a messed up knee? Tell me that. Tell me that. How are you supposed to look the same with a messed up knee? Second of all, you act like we don't have a dog in AJ Brown on the outside. A dog in Devontae Smith. Jahan Dotson. They say yeah he had a low year. 500, I don't, I don't know if y'all think the NFL is easy. 500 yards is not easy to, to come around. It's not like nothing special, but it's not nothing easy to come around in the NFL, bro. If we being real. Are we being real? I'll give y'all some time. Okay, we being real now. 500 yards is not the easy to come around. Well. No, I'm not saying he's a superstar. That would be nonsense. He's not a superstar. My whole thing is, he's in the slot. He's gonna get more targets. You know how much attention they're gonna be paying AJ and Devontae? He's gonna have so many open catches. Yes, his targets is going honestly, but his yards per catch is gonna go up. And it was already high. Him in the slot, he's a dog. Don't forget, we got 6'7 Johnny Wilson that we could throw in and out of the lineup. And he's a receiver, not a tight end. If you get the damn track, you to be a receiver, not a tight end. But... And another thing, our defense, our DB core. I was just talking about this yesterday, bro. Our DB core, it was bad last year, but it's gotten significantly better. CJ, Gardner Johnson. Goddamn um, Reed Blank shit. He's a dog. He's the only one who wants to tackle in the Buccaneers game if you play it back. Nobody else wants to tackle. Darius Slay, number one corner. Isaiah Rogers, number two corner. Quinn Mitchell in the slot. The only spot I would say is really, and I wouldn't even say weak, we just don't have a lot of depth on the D-line. That's the only thing you say. But Jalen Carter, 
Y'all seen the type of rookie we had, and that's with limited snaps. Imagine what he's gonna do with more snaps. And Jordan Davis, I know everybody's not hiring him right now, but I feel like he's gonna take a big step forward. He ain't got no choice but to. He gonna be on that field a lot this year. Fletcher Cox ain't there no more, my boy. He gonna be on the field a lot. But we gonna be cool. I'm not saying we gonna be this invisible team that ain't nobody gonna be, but we're gonna be cool. He was coming in third. Only way he was coming in third is if half of our starting line to be injured. I promise you, that's that's the only way. That's the only way that makes sense for our whole starting line to get injured. Bro. Only way in the world we're coming to second in the division. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about him disrespecting our Eagles are. If you're a Cowboys fan, how do you feel about us being third in the division? Because I don't believe it, to be honest with you. I don't believe it if I'm being real with you. Be real with yourself. I always say this, hey, just in real life. Be real with yourself. Us in third in the division. With the Giants, the Commanders, the Cowboys, and Eagles. Third. We're the third best team ever. All right. We gonna see, bro. I told y'all boys I was coming consistent, you feel me? I ain't gonna do too much with this video because I'm trying to hurry up and get this out. It's a 9.02 right now. I clock out at 10 o'clock. I'm trying to get this video before 10 o'clock so I get a post for y'all boys. I should have posted earlier for y'all, <coughs> but I'm gonna try to get an early upload out for y'all boys tomorrow, you feel me? Drop a big like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe. Comment down your thoughts below. Let me know how you feel about him saying the Eagles is gonna be third in the NFC East. Let me know how y'all feel about that. It's been your boy Sammy two times. Until next time I see y'all boys, God bless. You acting like my enemy and what's the reason? You turned your back on me, I swear it's like committing treason. I really want your love, I need this word that I've been feeding. I tried to change so many times.